If you are thinking of starting a career in tech but wondering, am I too old? You are definitely not alone. With the tech industry changing so rapidly, new innovations continuing to come up, people seem to be getting younger and younger. Did you, did you just call me old? No, I'm, I'm not calling you old. I'm just, I'm saying it can be more intimidating the older you get. For example, you might feel like you can't keep up. There is so much to know. Also with age comes a lot more responsibility, family, bills. The appeal to take a risk, especially from breaking into a new industry when it really focuses on, you know, are you going to be leaving a job? Are you going to be leaving a different industry? All of that, it's a lot of pressure. So the risk factor goes up immensely or it feels that way. In reality though, your life experience is much more valuable than you realize. I remember when I went from fashion to tech, I at first thought, I have no experience in this industry. No one is going to hire me. But when I started talking to people, talking to mentors, talking to experts in the industry, I quickly realized that my unique background, my unique experience is so valuable in the tech industry. And it's all about how you spin it. It really is never too late to break into tech. And you know, you can stop the video at this point, you got your answer. But more importantly today, we are going to be talking about some tips when you are breaking into tech at a, I use this with quotes, older age, whatever that may mean to you. Okay, okay, I can actually really relate to that. Okay, good, I'm glad we got this sorted out here. First, it's important to keep in mind that tech is an all-encompassing industry. It doesn't just mean that you have to code 24 seven. Whoa, it got really orange. <laughs> I'm at my parents' house this week filming and this was my childhood bedroom. I was really into the sunset. That's what we were going for here. Okay, we need to go to a different room. This is a little too orange. We're getting off track here. Okay, that's much better. Also, check out the cool staircase behind me. It was one of my favorite things growing up. Essentially, every industry, when you really sit down and think about it, whether it be fashion, sports, media, beauty, they all have a tech component. So what does this really mean? What this means is that whatever industry you are coming from, whatever experience you have, you have relevant experience. It might not be directed into the tech industry per se, that you're working on the tech side of things. Also side note, working on the tech side of things doesn't mean coding again. It could be working in marketing, it could be working in HR, but focused on the technical side of things, focused on working with technical people, uh, focused on working on the tech product. That is what it means. Actually, really fun fact, according to the Computing Technology uh, Association, in 2021, there were 3.6 million, 3.6 million job openings in North America, or I think it's the United States, actually. I'm just looking at my phone here with the stats. United States alone. That opportunity, those numbers are massive. But I know what you're probably thinking, even with all this data, all this information, Tiff, I still feel really intimidated to break into tech at my age. And once again, that could be whatever age you're at. Oh geez, it's so bright. Don't be so bright. But where does this fear come from? I say at the beginning of this video that it's often, in many cases, and my, mine included, was coming from a place of questioning yourself, of self-doubt, of self-worth, and it keeps on getting more intense the older we get because as I mentioned, the, the risk factor continues to go up and that's a huge thing. So I think the most important thing is to recognize if you are wondering, am I too old to break into tech? Is this for me? To really understand why you're having these insecure feelings, why you're having these feelings. And I think if we wanna take it one step further, let's look a little bit about the history of the tech industry as far as at least things that are popular go. And what I mean by that is if you really look at, you know, social media, when it comes to Instagram, when it comes to Facebook, even when it comes to, you know, Microsoft, all these large companies, the founders started when they were very young. And that has been so hyped, so praised in the media um, and in these articles because it makes a good headline. Mark Zuckerberg founded uh, Facebook when he was 20 years old. I'm not actually sure how old he was, but you get the point. When they're starting, when they're so young, it's really glorified that these young people are starting these successful companies and becoming quote unquote billionaires, what seems like overnight. And I really think that is why this question of, am I too old to get into the tech industry has really become so, such a big topic. The other side of things, which I think is why this question has become such a big topic is because tech is probably the most in-demand industry or one of them, definitely. And I think with that, there are so many job openings coming up, many that we just spoke about, 3.6 million, that it comes that there's this demand for people, but people have this hesitation. 
am I too old to break into this industry? Am I going to be working with 19 year olds? Because honestly, maybe you don't want to just work with a bunch of kids. And that's another thing too I really want to touch on. Is that going to be the case? And for me, I started, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't quote unquote older when I started in my career in tech, but I was still later than the average person. But I was still older than the average person. And I think one thing that I had to overcome was ego. Meaning when I was in my first company, first startup, I had a manager who was a bit younger than me. And I mean very, I think like two years younger. So not a lot, but when you're in your twenties, that difference, the age difference seems like a really big deal. And for me, I really had to let go of my ego when it came to, well, I should be where that person is because I'm older than them. And I think that's something that you really have to let go when you are starting in tech. And then the flip side of this, which is a really promising thing, I guess you could say, is you can grow very quickly in your career. So although I started out behind that person, I would say now where I am today, I am on par, if not ahead. And that's not a bragging point or a look at me point, but it's really to highlight that however much work you wanna put into your career and your career growth, you can get that very quickly if you do it strategically. Okay, we are gonna get very personal. You know, we always, we just, we connect on, I think it's so important to be very personal. So I'm gonna share with you my age. I don't know if that's personal, but I'm gonna share with you my age. So I've just turned 30 this summer and I'm someone who really is excited about well, another bright spot. I'm someone who's very excited about, you know, aging and growing. I think it's something to be celebrated because, you know, it's it's great you made it another year. Uh, but that being said, I was thinking before making this video, when I make this video, what would I do different if I, as a 30 year old, was to break into tech today? What kind of tips would I take that would be helpful? What kind of process would I follow? And I wanna share with you that today. So for me, one of the first things I would do if I was breaking into tech today at 30 years of age, I would definitely start networking and be strategic in who I'm networking with. I would go on LinkedIn and this is what I do today even as someone who recently got into software development advocate role. And what I did is go on LinkedIn and just cold call, meaning just reach out to people whose careers you admire because and what that will do is two things. One, it will show that you're taking initiative and you really want to get out there. The other thing it will do is even if the person that you connect with might just be good for a coffee chat or some information, they might know someone who you can connect with. And why I think networking is even more important as you get into the tech industry at an older age than say 19 is because you're going to be networking oftentimes with people, with your peers, with people your age typically, especially if you're going into leadership or asking people about leadership. And you might not be starting in leadership, but you know, you wanna connect with other leaders. And this might not always be the case that they are older, but most of the time it will be. And what this does is it puts you on their radar and it makes them aware of you. It really shows initiative too, if you are someone who's like, hey, I'm not in this industry, but I wanna get in it. This is what I've done and this is where I'm going. That is huge. The other thing I would do aside from networking is be very strategic in the companies I am looking to get on board with. I would be very strategic in that because if you are someone, and this might not apply to everyone, but if you are someone who's breaking into tech at an older age and you don't want to work with just a bunch of 19 or 20 year olds, which if you do, that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you are a bit older, being strategic in the companies you look for, seeing the members on their team, because sometimes it's nice not to feel like a complete lone fish in the pond and have people surrounded by you who are similar in age. Maybe they are further along in their career, but they can relate to more personable things with you. Another thing I think is absolutely key when you are breaking into tech at an older age, still kind of feeling unsure about yourself is to go to conferences and meetups. And I know this kind of relates to uh, networking, but it's so important because once again, you're getting out there, you're showing initiative. And I think why I keep harping on this networking thing is because you'll quickly realize as you start going to these things that there are a lot of people who did it just like you, who started out later in life. You know, maybe they were in a completely different industry, very successful, found coding or found designing, found product management, whatever it is, and thought this is where I need to be. So you're definitely not alone and I think one of the best ways to really boost your confidence in not feeling alone is to surround yourself by people by doing that. Okay, to wrap it up, to sum up this conversation, at the end of the day, you are never too old to break into tech. Now don't come at me with this, well Tiff, can a 90 year old break into tech? 
sure, if that's what they want to do and they want to work, why not? But I'm talking realistically, if you are thinking of making a career step or a switch, use these tactics, use these tips. The biggest thing at the end of the day, I think, is to be your own biggest cheerleader, meaning put yourself out there, advocate for yourself, know your self-worth, and you have more experience than you realize doesn't mean it's easy. It's going to be scary, but you can definitely do it. And I have so much admiration for people who do do that. And I think a lot of employers will as well. So stay focused, keep on going and you will get there. Also, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button for more tech coding career related videos. If you have any questions on this subject, leave them in the comments and I'll see you all soon. Thanks everyone.